Well, in this week's Carries Corner, Rich remembers one of the best defensive center fielders to ever step onto the baseball field, Jim Pearsall. A few weeks ago, baseball lost one of the most colorful and one of the best defensive center fielders ever to play the game when Jimmy Pearsall went to his eternal reward. Before playing the first seven of his 17 major league seasons with the Red Sox, the Waterbury, Connecticut native and all-around athlete led his high school basketball team to the New England Championship at Boston Garden. Although remembered mainly for his defensive skills and his eccentric behavior on the baseball field, the Connecticut kid could swing the bat too, connecting for six hits in one game for the Red Sox. That's something that Jim's superstar teammates on his left and right, Ted Williams and Jackie Jensen, never did. Pearsall wrote two books. The first, Fear Strikes Out, was made into a movie, which told the story of his life and his battle with mental illness. A man who always spoke his mind, Jim felt that Anthony Perkins, who played him in the movie, threw like a girl and that Carl Malden's portrayal of a domineering, baseball-driven dad was not accurate. In his post-playing days, Pearsall's penchant for publicly stating his controversial opinions cost him his broadcasting jobs in Chicago. He was the only man fired by both the Cubs and the White Sox. However, it was because of his battle with mental illness, his efforts to have it understood, the objective of his second book, and his exploits on the field that Jim Pearsall will be best remembered. That's a nice legacy, not to mention nine children and many, many grand and great grandchildren. Until next week, this is Rich Carey reminding you that at Carey's Corner, you always have someone in your corner.